Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss analysis of the equivalent circuit. So we should take some points, some important points from the equivalent circuit. We will do some analysis on it. So already we have some idea regarding the equivalent circuit. In this equivalent circuit, this is the resistance R1. This is the state R reactance X1 and we have some no load branch that is the R0 and this is, this is the no load reactance X0. No load reactance is X0 and it will give some current is I1. The state R current is the I1 and the generated EMF in the primary winding you know that the E1. E1. And the current entering into current entering into the E1, you know that the I this is the I2 dash. The current entering into the no load branch. So before the no load branch, the current entering into the core loss component is IC current. The current entering into the no load reactance that is the I mu. And the combination of two currents core loss component as well as magnetizing component I mu both will be we will get the I naught okay and so the complete current I1 will divide as I naught current and I2 dash current okay the for after that the EMF induced in the primary winding the, the EMF will be enter into the secondary winding that EMF is the E2. The induced EMF in the secondary winding is the E2. And secondary winding is the E2. And the resistance we can take it as the sum R2 by S. Reactance is the X2 naught. Reactance is the X2 naught. What is the meaning of this X2 naught? Or we can take R2 by S or S X2 naught. R2 by S or X X2 naught. That means what is this meaning S X2 naught? The motor is, what is this condition? Motor is running with, running with the slip speed. Running with the slip speed. Okay. Yeah. So this is the sub R1. This is the X1. Then the supply voltage V1 the supply voltage V1 equal supply will be V1 voltage and I1 R1 X1 so this is the complete equivalent circuit up to now we already discussed about it but if you observe this this circuit has look like the state R winding circuit is a separate circuit and rotor winding circuit is the separate circuit that's why we should combine together and we will convert into the single circuit. So for that purpose, just we will give just the shifting of this rotor resistance into the primary side. Rotor resistance into the primary side. Then this become, then how it is become? This is become like this. So for example, if we are doing uh, divide with S, this is also the S E to naught. This is will be S E to naught. If you divide with the S, what will become? It will become R2 by S and it will become the E to naught uh, generally. Okay, so we will shift that. We will get finally this R2 by S will become R2 dash by S. X to naught will become X to naught dash x to naught dash okay and and uh, so current so the from this the current e point there is no change this is the i2 dash current no problem at all and its current point will be i naught and the current entering into this there is no change because secondary is comes into the primary side but there is no change in primary there is no change in currents I see and uh, 
R naught is same value and X naught is also same value. And this is the X1 and this is the R1. This is the R1. So there is no change in the supply voltage. Only the change is uh, simply it is eliminated and shifted. It is eliminated and shifted and it will be removed. Then R2 by S will become R2 dash by S and X2 naught will become X2 naught dash. Okay. What is the relation between R2 dash and R2? That is a very important thing. Here, apart from this, just difference between the R2 and R2 dash equal, we can write like this. The R2 dash equal, this is R2 by K square. Here is the R2 is there. When the R2 is shifted, then it will become R2 by K square. What about the, uh, X2 dash? X2 dash equal, this is X2 by X2 naught dash. It's better to take the X2 naught dash. X2 naught dash equal X2 naught by K square. Same thing. Here also the same thing. Here what is K? K is number of rotor turns by number of stator turns. Number of rotor turns by stator turns. This is the modification of the equivalent circuit. Modification of the equivalent circuit. Okay. When it is shifted to primary, then R2 be, R2 R2 become R2 dash, X2 not become X2 dash. The relation is R2 by K square. If it is shifted to secondary side, then these will all will be changed. That means R1 dash, X1 dash, these all will be changed. And the change will be relation will be multiplied with k square. If you if you go for secondary, multiply with the case in, into uh, k square. But when refer to primary, so better to take here equivalent circuit, equivalent circuit refer to primary. That means complete circuit will be taken into the primary primary side next so we have some some conditions that we will understand how it acting okay so just look at this here as the state are core losses so we have the state are core losses depends on the input voltage and the frequency as they are mentioned as constant how how it will be depends First, what are the state or core losses? First, we already discussed about these. The state or core losses is first two types. State or core losses are two types. One is state or hysteresis losses, and another one is state or eddy current losses. Here, eddy current losses is state hysteresis losses is the constant K into B square dF square. And here also K into B power 1.6 and the F. Here if you observe here B is the flux density. Flux will be dependent on voltage and frequency. Here also flux density. B is proportional to voltage and frequency. Here also B is proportional to voltage and frequency. Voltage as well as the frequency. Both the things. Okay. Here that is the thing only. As the state or core losses depends upon the input voltage and frequency. So that's why just observe here. Here we have the voltage and frequency. B is nothing but flux proportional to flux. Flux is V by F. Here also flux density depends on the flux. Flux will depends on voltage and the frequency. Okay. So the state or core loss is completely called as the constant losses. These are the constant losses. The state or core losses as treated as the constant losses, the branch R0 can be eliminated for the analysis. So generally those are the constant. There is no variation. We can remove this branch. Why remove this? R0 represent always core loss branch. It will be core loss branch. But 
while calculating the net mechanical power in addition to mechanical losses the stator losses are considered so but whenever the net mechanical power is considered the stator losses also considered has to be detected from the gross mechanical power developed but whenever we are considering the all the losses we will consider this the this loss will be there so the modified circuit will be like this the modified circuit is simply we can write like this here the modification is we are removing the r not from there so the remaining circuit is like this so this is the supply voltage v1 and the stator resistance we have the r1 is there and stator reactance is x1 and this is the xm xm magnetizing component it will generate the magnetizing current and it has the resist already we modified the this is the r2 dash by s and this is the x2 dash okay and this current is this current is the the entering current we can name it as the i2 dash simply so you know we are removing but the current is i not will be entered the total current flowing from the supply is the i1 supply is the i1 we can give we can generate a equation we have we, we can produce some equations for it okay so this is about the analysis of the equivalent circuit that means initially the equivalent circuit is like this when we are modifying the equivalent circuit become like this okay so this is about the equivalent circuit analysis i hope all of you understand the session thank you